Dude! What's up? Let's go, let's check back in with our Pentwa 20th, the Wave 2s. I want to talk to you guys today about rebirth. I want to talk to you today about uh, messing up and how it's totally okay. Alright, we're going to frame this. I'm going to spin this situation to, to, to make it kind of positive. It's a wash. It's all a wash. We gotta restart it. We gotta we gotta burn down the crops. We gotta wait a whole year for the the chemicals to rebalance, and then we plow the field. We sow the seeds. We we'll not have to wait a whole year. I'm just I'm gonna restart them today. So like last week was rough for our digital pets. Last week was like like wow. Lily got sick. I got sick. But I'm back. I'm back and I feel good. And I'm ready to go back to being the number one digital pet parent on the planet. Bandai's chosen boy, but they don't realize it yet. I'm ready to- I'm ready to be that guy again, okay? Let's go to the stage. It's annoying too because I normally don't get sick. Like, I, I get sick maybe like once every seven years. I don't know what happens. I guess it's like you have a kid, and then suddenly they start just dragging home all forms of diseases. I know they don't mean to do it, but I'm charging her. One of these days, there's gonna be like a dad- you know, I guess really that's just like a slow interest that you draw out from having a child, right? Have you ever heard the phrase, dad tax? You know, when they reach over and they steal one of your fries? That's why, okay? Don't get mad at him. You're the one that's dragging home the flu and t t tetanus? Strep. You're the one dragging home strep. Also, I'm sorry I didn't put out a video the last couple days. I, I just felt like the videos were going to be so short. Even on the last live stream I did, when I checked in with the V-Pets, it was like nine minutes. People in the chat were all like... What? That, that's it? Because there was nothing to say. I was just waiting for these two over here. To die. I was waiting for them to pass on because it's just they. I made care mistakes. Nothing was going to happen. Okay. Like I said, I'm, I'm. I feel good about this one. Our plan for this time is to completely raise two different Digimon on this lot, but then over here, do the same thing, but do it good. Or not exactly the same thing. The Lalamon egg. We're, we're definitely going to just do Lalamon again. And then over here on this side, uh, where we were trying to get Togemon and then Rosemon. We're gonna take a different path. Instead of going Palmon to Togemon, which requires two care mistakes to get Palmon, and then perfect care to get Togemon, we're going to take the Flaumon route, where you only need to make one care mistake, and then you need to make three plus care mistakes with full effort to get Togemon. You see, it's uh, a, a bit of a wider safety net, you know? There's a, there's a lot of planning here that needs to be done, and before, I'll be honest, I was a little arrogant. I was like, yeah, sure. Two care mistakes, perfect care, I do it all the time. And to be fair, I do do it all the time. I just, I, the last week was was crazy, and it's a, it's a lesson, you know? You gotta have contingency plans, you gotta not be arrogant, you gotta prepare for being sick, even though I never, I never get sick! Why did that happen? What does the wind guardian egg look like again? It's got, oh, it's got wings. Yeah, see, I think all eggs should be like that. Like, Metal Empire is a good egg because it's metal, and you can see the bolts in it. The Wind Guardians is wind. Even the Zero Virus Busters is like a clean, pure egg. Okay, and then Nightmare Soldiers has got a skull. That one looks good. And here we get to the main offenders. The Deep Savers and the Nature Spirits. Are you kidding me? What is that? Is Nature Spirits maybe grass? Is it like a woven basket? They're also, in my opinion, the most boring eggs because their final, final forms is always the same. You'll never get something that's a final form that's not just like War Greymon or uh, I think Marine Angemon was a deep savers. You will always end up with Marine Angemon. Boring eggs. Boring, boring eggs. I'm just gonna come over here and I'm just gonna tell you this plan that I've written out because it's a little complicated and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to remember it. But here's the plan, okay? Dukemon version. This guy? A virus buster's egg, one care mistake to get Gobbamon, three plus care mistakes and zero effort to get Tailmon, then perfect to move on to the final form of that. It'll be a completely new Digimon. The second egg will be the Wind Guardians. This is the thing with the Rosemon again. We already talked about that. The Beelzebubmon's a little less complicated. We're gonna do a Nightmare Soldiers, get up to Pumpmon and Jogress them with the data to get a special Digimon that I've not really received before. But again, there, there's things to... That it, for one, yeah, I've never gotten them before, so I'm excited about them. But also, they will count toward that that 35 catalog thing to get Boncho Leomon and, and Dr Dark Dramon and all that. Uh, the second egg is the Lalamon egg. And then in, in big text, I've typed, best care this time for real. Just in case you were worried that I wasn't, like, super determined this time. Oh, wait. I have to wait for them to die. Well, that's fine. I don't like starting two eggs in one device at the same time. So we'll start with not hatching eggs, but rather we'll start with feeding these two Digimon 
proteins until they no longer can move, until they are waddling and stuck, and it's a sad life. And I feel like I'm the worst person for doing this, but this is like, you see, don't mess up! There's a lot writing on your Digimon. If you're the kind of person who, who like me, has a really hard time letting their Digimon be sick and then just letting them sit there for six hours and dying and struggling, then don't mess up because you have to deal with this. You have to suffer through Look at that. You know what that is? That's depression. It's not even sickness. It's a different thing, you know? Although I think some people tell me that that's actually... This is sickness. And then the, the skulls is the one that's the other thing. I don't know. Either way, now they're just gonna sit there and do that. That's that's the situation. I'm gonna leave them there. I'm almost considering just letting them die and then just running through these two to get Reflessimon. And just not hatching the other eggs so I can focus on these two with all of the powers that I need to do, you know? It seems like that kind of is the smart idea. But I also won't have these Digimon over here working toward our Boncho Leomon catalog, so... I guess we're just going to have to struggle. We're gonna have to struggle bus a little bit longer. Oh, we unlocked something. Wait, what did we unlock? What is it, a seatbelt? Oh. It's Ludomon. Okay, it's it's the special new super special Digimon. Maybe later, Ludomon. Not today, though. So tonight I'm excited because I'm going to a meetup thing for Twitch streamers and YouTubers and podcasters, really anyone that creates content in the Portland, Oregon area. And I've actually kind of joined on as one of the unofficial members of the team, and I've been commissioned to make buttons. Rather, they're kind of like these Pokemon gym badge things, because it's a once a month thing, and if you show up, you can get these gym badges if you show up early. Yeah, basically showing off being like, I've been here, okay? I've got seniority. Which, I, I have mixed feelings about that notion in general, you know what I mean? Because, like, it, it sucks to go into an established group and feel like you're kind of already getting edged out because you joined later or whatever, or, you're, like, you're never gonna make friends or get any kind of, any kind of position, you know? Sometimes that sucks. Like, seniority has its place. You know, you don't just want, I, I think, I think rather seniority is like a, a safety net for really, when you get really old, you don't want to just lose your job or whatever. I get that. You want security. And if you've lived long enough and you haven't like gone to, you know, you're, you're not in prison, I guess maybe you deserve to kind of take it easy, maybe? Oh, I did the thing again where I blocked their birth. This is not bode well. I'm already off to a bad start. Okay, Nyokimon. Is it Nyokimon? Yeah, it's Nyokimon. Of course it's Nyokimon. Come on. You, th you think I don't know what my baby's name is? Uh, they gave me the form. I just wrote down. You know, what do you think? What's the what's what's their species? I guess if the humans did that, that'd be weird. Like, what is your child's name? Uh, Egyptian. Spanish. Well, anyway, as far as the subject of my uh, seniority goes, I'm going to do my best to welcome everyone, no matter when they join, no matter how many badges you have. It's just a way to walk in and for people to, like, see me and be like, Oh, this guy's got all those those gym badges, those monthly badges. This guy, you know, at least knows what's going on, right? That's what seniority should mean, in my opinion. Seniority should mean that you can offer advice and guidance to those who join newly. Look at that. Apparently it was a slow burn. Was that enough? Yeah, that was enough. I mean, it's not going to be enough here in, like, two minutes, because I know how you babies are. I know, I know... I know what they do. Dude, but check out these badges though. Can you see the badges? I hope you can, you can, yeah, you, you can, you can see them, right? You kind of get the idea? I swear they're more crisp and vibrant than it's showing on the camera. It's just this stupid circle like, watch, it gets worse. Yeah, see? I don't even know what that is. It's like a weird mustache. So after this video, in fact, I gotta go punch these into buttons get it all packed up in a bag and take it with me along to this meetup thing. And I do look forward to it. I, I always look forward to these meetups. I think I've gone to every single one so far. No badges to prove it, but that won't be a problem after uh, after this one. Now everyone will know. And they pooped. Look at that. Potty training. I mean, it's not I don't think we're really potty training anyone, are we? This is more just enabling. I don't know, where do these kids live? They, they must live on like hard linoleum flooring or something. Cause when I was having a child that was pooping on stuff, it was not that simple. It was not doot, 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 doot. It was like me sobbing, crying. I'm like, I'm serious. Like Tenley would go to work and she'd be like, bye, see you later. And I'd be like, she just pooped on the walls. Uh, uh, Cause it was, it's, it was a horrible thing, you know? Stick the digital pets. Or, or raise your children on, on linoleum tiles. I don't know. I'll see you all tomorrow for new eggs. We're going to start the, what was it? The Zero Virus Busters and the Nightmare Soldiers. Gonna grab ourselves a Gobamon and a Pumpmon and move on from there. 
yeah, it's gonna be good. So I hope you've all had a good one. I hope you all will have a good one. Thanks for coming by. Thank you to my patrons for supporting my channel, especially Nobro, Shifter, and Dogtrainer89. Bye!